Loading your body is telling your tissue to adapt and to get stronger. Research also shows that loading your body is increasing your bone density, makes your muscles and tendons stronger, thickens your cartilage, increases the height of your intervertebral disc, and thickens your ligaments. So loading your body is good for all kinds of tissues. But what if you give your body too much load? Hi, and welcome to your Online. I'm Arjan, and today I'm going to talk about the link between load and low capacity. Every muscle and bone in your body is made to be loaded, otherwise it will get weak. If you load your body by, for example, doing a push-up or walking a five-mile hike, you're giving your muscles and joints a little trauma, which is called a micro-damage or micro-trauma. And those micro damages aren't scary or dangerous because micro damages forces the body to adapt to the load it's been getting. In that way, your body is getting stronger and better in coping with the load it's being given. But what happens if you constantly give your body more load than its capacity without giving it time to adapt? What if the load you place on your body is too high for it to adapt? A good way to explain the principle of load and capacity is the following story of the farmer who had to carry his cow up the hill. This farmer started carrying the cow when it was just a little calf. And every other day he was carrying the little calf up the hill. The farmer's body was getting stronger and stronger every day because every day he lifted the calf up and he was getting a little bit of micro damage to his body. His body was adapting to it and it became stronger. And over the years, the little calf was slowly grown into a big cow. And as the cow grew bigger, the farmer grew bigger. Now I'll give you an example of overloading. Next to this farmer was living another farmer. And this farmer didn't have one cow, but he had 10 cows. He saw his neighbor carrying his one cow up the hill every other day and was like, I'm gonna start doing this tomorrow. So the next morning, the farmer went out and started carrying all of his 10 cows up the hill. At the end of the day, he came home and was broken. But the next morning, he again carried his cows up the hill. And every day he was getting sore and was feeling more pain because he was overloading his body. The big difference between these two farmers was the load and the progression of the loading. The second farmer didn't build up strength or stamina to carry his 10 cows up the hill every time and he did it every day. In that way, the body couldn't adjust to the micro damage it was getting. And all of those micro damages turned into an injury. Another reason for overloading could be a lack of sleep, unhealthy eating, too much stress or some kind of illness. At the moment you're having one of these factors your body's capacity is lower and you could be at risk for overloading. So when you're training for a marathon, a hike, or just a soccer game, try to get a good night's sleep, eat healthy, and try to lower your stress level. It will help you to stay active and lower the chances on getting an overload injury. So a little bit of overloading isn't bad because your body will adjust and get stronger. But constantly overloading your body will probably cause some injuries because your body won't be able to adapt to the load it's getting. And that results in more degrading of your tissue than the production of new tissue. I hope this video helped you in getting to know the link between load and load capacity. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And make sure to send this video to friends and family who are having an injury which is probably caused by overloading. And if you need a personal consultation, you can find us at yourpizza.online. This was Arjan, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.